This is a large power supply from an Eloka ultrasound machine. I have scrapped this a while ago. Unfortunately, I didn't make a video because I had no equipment to make videos at this time. So here are the power inputs, here is the serial, and the outputs. Let's have a look inside. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I'm loving it. Beautiful. Plus minus fifteen volts. 5 volts. Here's another board. 300. No, 350 volts, 170 volts, 200 volts. Exciting. Elna, lovely. Wow, look at this power transformer. Kitagawa. Kitagawa. 1987. Oh, this is old. It's beautiful, mate. Beautiful. Line filter and a switch mode power supply. Off the shelf. Sun can. Beautiful. The primary inputs, the numbers here are exactly the numbers here, and it shows you how to connect it for the different voltages. Here in Austria we have 240 volts. So I have wired it uh, this way, 4 and 5, that's the wiring for 240 volts. I will power it up and uh, see what voltages are here, because I want to reuse this power transformer. And when I'm scrapping it, I will also uh, keep this... Uh, thing along with the picture of the uh, connection terminal. This gives a really good uh, power transformer for a tube amplifier. We have a couple of anode voltages 
a couple of grid voltages and of course uh, filament voltages. This is uh, for the analog stuff. For the large uh, plus minus 50 volt rails I guess. They are really huge. Have a look at these wires. They are huge. This is just an uh, approximation. I'm not sure. Beautiful. Oh, that was fun. Let's have a look at the electronic boards. Something I really love to do is uh, I'm looking for engineering fails, uh, for some troubles that you can only see when something is uh, 10 years old, 20 years old. You learn a lot. This is a regulation board for the high voltage stuff. We see three different sections. One of these has a little power transformer for uh, some more isolation. The transistors are mounted pretty well uh, on this uh, robust aluminium heatsink. This is well done. Also the orienta orientation was this way, so the heat uh, was uh, did not harm the electrolytic capacitors. These don't look fine anymore. I'm not sure if you can see it on the video. Maybe you can see it now. Maybe they should have used 105 C caps. Or the voltage range wasn't high enough. These are 350 volts. Also, um, the unit uh, was set to 220 volts primary voltage, but uh, here in Austria the uh, mains voltage is around about 230, 240 volts. So this would also affect these caps. But this is medical stuff, uh, it's all about reputation, it's all about uh, reliability. Why not use a capacitor that is uh, that has a little bit more voltage withstanding? It was enough uh, room in the cabinet, in the enclosure. I would have mounted this uh, TO220 transistor on a little heatsink for thermal, thermal reasons and uh, also uh, for mechanical reasons. Same problem here. Yeah, okay. That's what I expected to see. Here was a lot of heat. This is not good for the part, for the board, for the reliability of this unit.
here's a little DAC from Raytheon, I guess, 1986. Some op amps. The quality of the part is okay. It's probably not auto road routed, I guess. The routing is okay. You can see the rails, I believe this is the ground. Maybe the 5 volt rail and the plus 15 volt. Another large ground. I can see, I can't see any thermal issues. So the dim dimension of the contacts was okay. Now this is pr pretty well done, really. The soldering is good. The soldier locks are large enough. Solder pads. This is doing a good job. I really like it. Elner caps. All the regular 85 degrees stuff. I would have expected these caps in a radio, but not in a, a scientific or medical device. So, and the last board. This is the low voltage regulator board. It is the uh, regular stuff. Large heatsink. Linear, linear regulator. With transistors, I guess. This is probably an um, integrated circuit. This is pretty well, pretty well built. I like it. Five volt power supply. Elner caps. So this would be any uh, sunken type thing, I guess. Sunken STR9005. Go figure. The 5 is, <laughs> I guess, uh, stands for 5 volts, because this is the 5 volt power supply.
a minus 5 volt rail with uh, LM, I guess, LM723D, Japan Radio Company, uh, company Two S B five five three and a T O three P. Is it a T O three P transistor case? So this, I believe, is also a sunken type uh, transistor or MOSFET transistor because it has yeah transistor sorry uh, it also has an emitter resistor minus 15 volts same and more interesting plus 15 volts with 2.8 amps regulation is the same but it has two transistors and they are in parallel with these emitter resistors so I try to test the Elna caps they are pretty old, uh, somewhere from the 80s. But surprisingly, they are still in great electrical condition. These here should have uh, 15,000 microfarads. It has uh, 14,500. I've measured it with uh, the XDAG. EX530 and this one has 14,060 microfarads which is still great and in within specifications this one here should have 6,800 microfarads and it has 6600 unfortunately this one uh, can only measure like 10,000 uh, microfarads my x dash can measure I guess 40,000 microfarads but it failed with uh, this one my Agilent uh, can only measure like uh, 1000 microfarads and this one 2000 so I, ca uh, I wasn't able to test this one well that's it with uh, the Aloka power supply I hope you liked the video see you next time bye